on how to get that kind of disheveled hair on the second day of washing. So I don't actually wash my hair every day because it's just not really good for long hair to be washing it that much. So this is kind of how I style it on that second day. I want that look to be just like windswept, like I just got out of bed looking like this. Very, very easy looking. But of course, I actually don't look like this rolling out of bed. I kind of like my hair to look a little bit messy and just disheveled. I don't like it to look, you know, perfect and every hair in place. You can do this with straight hair or, you know, if you straighten it, that's fine. Or you can also do this with like wavy hair. If you have a little bit of wave, like that's actually perfect. Keep on watching to see how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just brush out my hair just to make sure that there's no tangles in it. Now it doesn't matter if the roots are a little bit greasy, this might happen to many of you on the second day if you don't wash your hair. I'll show you how to take care of that in just a moment. Now I like to go over any areas that have little kinks and any strange waves in it just using a GHD, the hair straightener. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. It actually can look kind of cool if you have little pieces in your hair that don't look all straight and perfect. So this is just definitely an optional step. Now I'm going to take care of the roots. So I'm actually using baby powder for this, but you could also do this with dry shampoo. But baby powder, of course, is a much less expensive option. And I just like to get some of that into my hands and then work that through the scalp. So depending on wherever your hair gets greasiest, you just wanna add a little bit of powder there. And this really works. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the actual powder soaks up the oil and it, just prevents your hair from looking greasy and gross um, so that you don't have to wash it every day and just kind of work that through to really help to soak up the oil and just so you don't get like bits of powder flying everywhere. Next I'm going to take a hair serum and I'm just going to use this on the ends of my hair and this is really just to tame any frizziness that I might have and usually the ends of my hair are a little bit more dry so this kind of hair serum is going to make the ends look more sleek, more, I don't know, glossy and shiny. So I just really work that in. Next I'm going to use this product and this is a really interesting volumizing powder. So it, this isn't the same as the baby powder, it's almost like a gel that comes in a powder form that you kind of sprinkle on your hair like a pepper shaker and then when you work your fingers through your scalp it kind of creates this incredible volume. It almost looks like your hair is teased, but you don't have to use a teasing comb, so that's really cool. And you just kind of work it through as you see what I'm doing. If, Of course, if you have shorter hair, it's going to create even more volume because you won't have the hair to weigh it down. So I just like to put that in right around the roots and then just work that through. And this is really going to just pump up the volume <laughs> and make your hair look really defined and very voluminous. So there you can see the results. So that's all without teasing, which I think is pretty cool. Next I'm going to use this styling paste and this has a matte look to it. Um, you don't have to use a mattifying one if you don't want to. You can use like a glossy looking paste. But I think the matte look just kind of adds to this whole look, that kind of bed head style. And I just like to scrunch that through the whole parts of my hair. So I'm just kind of scrunching and adding a little bit more product and just really working that through. So this is kind of going to give that very textured, edgy, messy look. And I'm really just focusing on the ends of my hair here, picking out little individual strands. I have some shorter layers on the front of my hair, so I like to kind of pick those out and add a little bit of texture, just kind of running those through those strands. And this is really going to give that PC look that I think looks really perfect for this kind of bedhead style. And make sure you also pick out some pieces from the back of your head so that it's not just in the front, so it's just kind of all around. Lastly, I like to use a little bit of hairspray just to keep the style in place. I like to use one that has like a flex hold, so nothing that's too stiff. I just do it when my head is upside down, shake my hair around, give it a good spray, and that should really lock the style in place. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think it is perfect for those days when you're just not sure how to wear your hair on that second day. It looks very 
edgy, very sexy, and very casual and easy to do. So thank you so, so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys very soon. Don't forget, I'm giving away $1,000 worth of Canon cameras in the month of July in my huge giveaway contest. It's open to all worldwide. If you want to enter, please click on the video link below right now for all the details. Good luck!